So, a cult that we've watched uh, throughout the winter, one that, that uh, I'm pretty partial to is I'm making it. He's a brother to a cult that I, I uh, although Leroy's not very uh, a good horse right now, he's trying and he's making money and, and uh, he's one of those horses, you know, when I drive him, you can tell he's trying as hard as he could, so it's pretty hard not to like him and his brother's the same way. Interferes in many of the same ways also. So, uh, you'll see today he get the hobbles on for the first time. I actually trained him, trained him Wednesday in the mud with the hobbles on and we're making some adjustments but the last trip you went today was fantastic. We went a mile 23. Um, obviously you guys can't see everything. Uh, he did interfere with himself and did uh, punch a small hole in himself. Those things happen. I mean it's much like kids growing up. They're going to get aches and pains and scratches and bumps and bruises and, and the fact that they do it and keep going it really impresses me as a trainer. So um, obviously I would love to see them trot flawlessly but as we said before they all come in different shapes and sizes and uh, this colt here is much like his brother. The same mentality. When he's when he's dialed in, they're going to do their work no matter what. And, and uh, he was impressive today. I, I really liked what he did. Went a mile 23, last half an eight. I couldn't ask him to do any more. I thought he looked uh, he looked great. Now the last trip James had went with Majestic Way. Now Majestic Way was one of her most flawless trotters up until about March, maybe. She's made quite a few breaks in the last little while. Now James had thought that she's interfering right hind. Um, when I watched her trot the other day, I sat behind her on Wednesday. I thought she was a little weak on the right side, and we had I had sent an email out to the owners, and we have her on some medication to uh, help her a little bit. But I think what we're going to do is uh, make some slight chewing changes and uh, have the vet look at her on Monday. It's nothing serious, just growing pains. But um, you know, she's she's coming along, same as everybody else. They they take their own time, and they all grow at different times. And I think she just needs to. Uh, she just needs to get through this, through this growth spurt and I think uh, she'll be back on track in no time.